it's being recorded yeah ejb day what exactly we are going to see in the ejb day one the ejb day one we are going to look at the concepts of ejb concepts we are going to look up and the difference between ejb 2.0 versus ejb 3.0 and a sample example on sample example on session pins right this is exactly what we are going to see now basically we know that ejb is a framework what exactly is ejb is ejb is a framework ejb is a container ejb is a component based uh, distributed framework ejb is component component based distributed framework for building and deploying distributed applications this is a basic definition of ejb enterprise java pins as we have seen now basically the question comes why we require a ejb why ejb as discussed let me show you few images so if you if you look at the diagram right let me show you if you look at the diagram these are the basically ejb for an enterprise application basically we use a ejb for developing the enterprise application and ejb fits in a entire architecture a in a entire architecture and for developing the distributed applications and when we have a ejb we know that ejb is for a visibility of distributed component and when we say it's a different guys a component basically saying a component and a distributed component and ejb provide various services and what they are they are the transaction service a security service a persistent service a removability interceptors timers state management and the messaging these are the various services of the ejb these are the various services which are being provide, provided by the ejb now basically this are being being given by a container right ejb as a container when we say ejb as a container what does it mean right ejb as a container so when ejb as a container it provides set of services and basically what they are it provides set of services basically starts with a transaction security and persistence timer service which are, which is also called scheduling schedule schedulers scheduling and uh, transaction security persistence and a messaging service and yeah messaging service interceptors state management state management interceptors we'll discuss in detail so basically it provides a set of services when a we are saying ejb as a container why without ejb a programmer we know that why a ejb was no innovative right why it was developed ejb without ejb a programmer it's a overhead on the programmer there is no reusability it's a overhead on the programmer to write all the set of services and where the services are not reusable but ejb as a container when you say ejb as a container it provides a various set of services as described over here and the ejb container is deployed on the application server on what application server application servers like jboss apache glassfish and jerry nemo something or your weblogic websphere whatever so ejb containers are deployed on the application servers to provide whatever a component is being developed 
here look at this these are the components these are the valid user ecb or credit card check inventory these are the various uh, services basically a credit card service a check inventory service these are written by a developed by the programmer but when you write a credit card service apart from credit card verification you require a transaction management you require a security right for a credit card what you require basically you require a security and you might also require a persistence means here the programmer is relieved the programmer is relieved from the services the programmer is relieved from the overhead of writing all the services so ezb providing ezb as a container provide the services and the overhead on the programmer is only to write the code right to write only the business logic and rest rest depends upon the rest is rest by provided by the ezb container right yep that's how a ejb works so ejb containers are deployed on the application server and they provide a particular set of services now the question comes what is the difference between ejb 2.0 and 3.0 before that let us look at this yeah ejb 2.0 versus ejb 3.0 yeah ejb 2.0 it has few things one is the uh, no look at this a valid user or a credit card user or check inventory ejb blah 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 now assume that for this credit card ejb i have developed a component i have developed a component and i would like to deploy on the ejb and in the runtime i need a set of services it could be a security or a transaction basically so what exactly has to be done it has to be configured it has to be configured using something called xml i'm right it, it is used to configure using something called conf right so ejb 2.0 used to provide two kinds of configuration one is programmatic and the second one is declarative declarative configurations or programmatic and declarative two, two kinds of approaches we had when we say programmatic hard coding and when we say a declarative always it is a xml file configuration files configuration files what is required programmatic and declarative on other hand egb 3.0 what does it provide it provides a approach called annotation right annotate annotation approach annotations configuration using annotations configuration using annotations and here is the example here is the example you require only a annotations right this is the first basic difference means easy with 3.0 Developing and testing is easy in the 3.0 and for 2.0 if you want to create any kind of if you want to create any kind of beans as a as we discussed EZB supports three kinds of beans EZB kinds of beans what they are the first one is a session bean second one is a entity bean and third one is something called session pin entity bin and third one is a message driven pin session bin entity pin and a message driven pins in the ejb whether it is 2.0 or 3.0 we have three different kinds of pins and basically to create any kind of bin in the ejb 2.0 right i need to create a bin session bin so you need to have a set of interfaces and what they are basically remote interface the very first one I need to have a home interface I need to have a local interface a three kind of interfaces means if I need to create any kind of bean this bean implement all the interfaces all the interfaces 
a remote and home and a local three kind of interfaces so to, to create this kind of being it has dependency with the interfaces it has a dependency with the interfaces but when coming to EJP 3.0 POJO based beans. What does it mean? POJO based bean means you have a plain class and this plain Java class can be exposed as a bean. But the EJP 2.0, if I want to create either session entity or any kind of bean, right? If I want to create any kind of bean, then I need to implement all the interfaces and these interfaces are pre defaultedly given by it's mandatory, I mean given by the EGB, EGB standard and you need to write down all the interface right interface and then a bin has to be implemented a remote a remote is for the client a home interface and local inter we will discuss in detail later but a set of interfaces were given and to create any kind of bin the very first thing is implement all the interfaces but in the EGB basically in the EGB not even in the EGB 3.0 but in the 3.1 they are based on purely POJO based beans POJO, POJO based beans POJO based bean means means you don't require any implementation you do not require to define any interfaces and you can expose a normal POJO class a normal POJO class a normal Java bean as a session bean EJB bean fine this is the second difference and beans are configured using XML files. How beans are configured? Beans are configured using annotations. Beans are configured using annotations. That's what we can see. Beans are configured using XML, beans are configured using annotations. And here you could see in the 3.0 like POJO plus annotation is your EJB. It's your EJB. Now, let us understand what is the drawback when you are using annotation and when you are not using the basic part. This is coming to the session bin. Now, let us come to the entity bins. Right. The first part and entity bins. When you speak of entity bins, it is purely for persistence right purely for persistence means session beans two kinds of beans we have one is a session bean and second is the entity beans session beans is your business logic business logic means you do not have any database calls you do not have any database calls it could be a so here so entity beans Entity beans uh, basically are used for the persistence as, as discussed session beans are for the business logic here whatever all the three things you you are saying 